I'm a glass hole. Anyway, in, in, in this aura of glass holiness that's surrounding me, I'd just like to say that being a glass explorer has been a great opportunity. It's been fun. Um, I've enjoyed sharing my experience with those um, that see me in my day-to-day -day activities. Sometimes I kind of hide that I have glass, but for the most part I try to try to interact with people and kind of share the experience, let them know that I'm not filming them 24-7. Um, so it's, it's, it's been a good, good opportunity. It's been fun beta testing, finding bugs, thinking up ideas that would make this product great. Um, I know some people might laugh at me because they've been developing the product for about two years and I just came in in April, so, it, but I think at some point Google will probably be taking all our ideas and everything they've gotten back from the Glass Explorer program to make a really great product. Um, anyway, I uh, really what I wanted Glass for was to start developing for Glass, so I've started on my first uh, Google Glass GDK project, and it's called Ariadne. It comes from the um, the Greek myth of Theseus and the Minotaur, where Theseus went in to slay, the, went through the labyrinth to slay the Minotaur, and Ariadne, who was in love with Theseus, um, gave him a thread and a sword. And the thread was so that when he went through the maze of the labyrinth and killed the Minotaur, he would have a thread to follow him back out of the labyrinth. And that's kind of the idea of Ariadne. It's a simple idea where you um, save your location, and if you're like me, you might get lost in a parking lot. You might get lost, you might forget where you parked your car in the city in a parking garage. Um, I've had that experience happen to me a few times. Um, but with this, this app, it will allow you to kind of retrace your steps back to where you originally were. Um, anyway, I'm going to demonstrate it for you now. Um, hope you enjoy it. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, maybe not, but I'm excited about it. So here's a demo of my app. OK, Glass, save a location. So it should bring up my live card here with the latitude and longitude. Now say you wanted to add a description to it because the latitude and longitude really doesn't tell you a lot. Say maybe on 6th Street or um, near the Rite Aid. So I'm going to click on my live card here, go to add a description. Near the Grayling Hospital. It's all dictated, and it adds it to the card, as you can see, near the Grayling Hospital. Now I have my card created. Now let's demonstrate what it would be like if I was going to be walking back. So it's saved on my timeline. I'm going to go for a little walk outside my apartment. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. A real commitment's what I'm thinking of. You won't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Want to make you understand. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you... <coughs> okay. So... Now I'm standing a little ways outside my apartment. Let's demonstrate walking back. So let's click on my live card again, bring up return to location. Should bring up the navigation. So it's telling me to head northwest. Let's go towards my destination. Okay, I've arrived, should close out, and then 
it adds a card to my timeline. It says I arrived at Maple Street. This is my apartment. And I can always revert back to that card and it will give me directions back to it. So that was my Ariadne app. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. I will also have a blog post with documenting the information. Um, I also suggest maybe you stick around um, for the rest of this video because I'm going to be talking about um, the, the coding that went into this project and how I built actually went through and built the app. Um, it might be something that interests you, so I'd suggest sticking around. Anyway, thank you. And happy hacking! Getting started, let's first take a look at the Ariadne Live Card Service class that I've defined. So whenever you're doing a live card, it's best to create it as a service so that it will sit in the background and, you know, continuously run. In this case, the Ariadne Live Card Service isn't really updating itself all that often. You just update it once, <coughs> but you should still create it as a service. So if you look at the look at the top I've just declared some variables and even on create is quite um, sparse with the kind of code. Now a common method within within a service is the on start command. It's kind of when it's when it's initiated and as you can see, I create a live card, and then I, in this part, I'm actually referring to the Ariadne Dictate class, but it looks for a description, and we use the Ariadne Dictate class to create that description, so you dictate it, create the description. And if that description does not exist, or if it, if it does not exist, then um, just include the latitude and longitude. So in this case, when you first start up the app, the, it obviously doesn't have the description because we never haven't opened the dictation part yet. So then from there it just includes the latitude and longitude rather than the full description of like near right aid. It doesn't include that, it just puts latitude and longitude. And then if it does, then it includes the description we created using the Ariadne Dictate class. If you look at Ariadne Populate, I'm calling a, um, an asynchronous task, async task, and this process is um, what actually generates the card. It So I've got the latitude and longitude, and I've used the get last location class to um, define the latitude and longitude. So I'm passing that on to through the asynchronous task, the latitude, longitude, and the location. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom to the, asynch the Ariadne populate card asynchronous task that I was talking about. And it pulls in those parameters, latitude, longitude, location. And this part, it actually makes a call out here, makes a call out to Google Maps and it creates an it pulls an image from Google Maps of that particular location and that's what actually generates the card in the um, activity start Ariadne view and this is the main view that I use I don't know if this will give you a bit better yeah you probably can't see any of it but it it, it um, accesses the activity start Ariadne view as a remote view and it places the image in the image view area um, with the location image ID. I'm going to go back again just to kind of show how that works. So in this, so it makes a call out it to to Google Maps and gets the image and it then it takes that image pulls that image down creates a bitmap closes the stream and then returns that bitmap 
And when that bitmap is returned, it's returned to the onPostExecute method. And it, we create a new remote view. So with the service, um, whenever you're accessing a view, uh, you usually do it as a remote view. So you, you um, create a remote view from the activity start Ariadne class. And then you set the image. So that location image ID that I was pointing at, you set it to that bitmap that we passed through. And so that image is now in that, um, in that image view. And then this is where you actually um, set the text view location. And then, and of course, the location can either be the description or the latitude and longitude. And here it checks. So if it's a description, then you set the text view to the latitude and longitude. If it's not, then of course it's going to make it a description. And it sets the view for the live card. And um, that's what actually, you know, generates the live card on that service where, you, you know, it kind of opens up and this live card appears on there. So this is, you know, the process where that happens. I'm going to go back up to the top. I think I covered this pretty well. I talked, I think I also, oh, I didn't talk as much about get last location. So with get last location, where it's called up here and where we get the latitude and longitude of where glass is currently at. Um, with glass, geolocation is not um, on the device itself. It can get GPS coordinates from your phone um, through Bluetooth. It also can get geolocation though from um, Wi-Fi because it does have its own wi wireless um, connection and it can also get it from Wi-Fi on your phone. So this process actually kind of looks at all the different providers. It gets all the providers. Um, so when I say provider I'm saying um, GPS on your phone is a provider. Um, wireless, your wireless connection on glass or your wireless connection on your phone. They're all providers and what what this app does then is it kind of what it does is it looks to see what's the most accurate reading it's getting from each of those providers and it goes with the most accurate provider it also up here um, I also have it so it it requests a location update so it kind of pulls all the providers and then here it gets gets the last location of each provider and then checks for accuracy and, and then it sorts it and pulls the top the top provider the most accurate provider and it uses that for the geolocation and so then it's returned back here into this variable so that's kind of how the live card service works um, let's talk about the menu part now because the menu actually so when you have the live card on your timeline and you tap on it, it pulls up some sliding menu items. So you have, so I think you may have saw, seen them. Um, I'm gonna pull up the menu view. Um, it's you know where it says return to location, add a description or dismiss. All those items are on that sliding menu, and this is where the the Ariadne menu area kind of and it looks to see if you know which item is selected or on item selected so it looks to see you know if a menu item was selected and then it checks this and it looks to see what ID that menu item is and the switch uh, that was selected in that switch statement and in this case if it's you know action return which is up here and it's the return to location item on that menu then what it does is it um, creates a new intent and then in that intent it it accesses um, glasses navigation system so it actually kind of passes the latitude and longitude along 
to glass and then this is where you know navigation will will step in and direct you to that latitude and longitude um, also if you look up here I've I've passed the latitude and longitude along from the the card service through the extras so you can so that's where it's retrieving that information and then it starts the activity and stops the service closes the service opens up the navigation now if action description if the add a description part of the menu is clicked on um, it creates a new it opens up the Ariadne dictate class which I'll I'll show to you in a little bit and it um, it passes the latitude and longitude to that class and it starts it so let's let's open up the Ariadne dictate class just to show you so if I I go to the top um, I've defined a function here um, and this this function you know I, I call it right on the on create so display speech recognizer and this kind of initiate initializes um, the the dictation software Google, you know Google Glasses dictation software um, you can see it also passes the it passes the latitude and longitude in um, from the menu and it you know initiates the speech initiates speech recognition and then from there it looks to the activity result method and the activity result method this part kinda it checks to see if if the if there was a speech request and the result was okay so that it wasn't canceled out and it wasn't exited out prematurely before uh, on the so there was actually a real dictated message that was successfully dictated and in this case it stops the the card service and then it starts the card service I wanted to make sure that it was closed and recreate a new card and then from here it it gets the string that was recorded that was dictated and it saves it to a variable so the spoken text variable is the result of so you you dictate it saves it stores it in a variable and and now um, we're putting it we're sending it to the um, as you can see the service intent which was declared up here um, where we're starting the service we're passing the latitude again the longitude again and then the spoken text so that we're actually passing the description this time so in this case, when you when the service starts up, it'll find that the description ex exists, and then it'll put the description in the place where the latitude, latitude and longitude may have originally been, and it starts the service. And then here's where, like, if if it's can't if they cancel out of it, then it um, it closes out of the the dictation part, and um, it should still have the live card available. So that's kind of how the the Ariadne dictate class works. I didn't quite finish with the Ariadne menu, um, and the last part, the action stop, is when you the the dismiss selector. So this, in this part, it will stop the the card, the live service. It'll shut it down, and it'll activate the um, and on destroy. And in this part, it will, you know, unpublish the card, and it will no longer be on the glass timeline. So this is kind of a thorough, or kind of a quick walkthrough, I would say, uh, of my application. If you have any ideas or suggestions, as always, I'm free to. I mean, I really would love input on it. I'm actually pretty new with Android development, and anything I could do to you know make it more efficient with the coding would be would be quite helpful so feel free to either leave me a comment like I said before or um, you can check out my 
um, code out on GitHub. I'm going to have a link down in the description also on my blog so you can kind of take a look at that too. Maybe contribute to the code or um, at least give me some pointers. Anyway, all help is appreciated.